Kevin Jackson Radio Show. What's up, everybody? Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. You starting to feel better about things? What are things, Kevin? What things are you talking about? I'm talking about your life and all the things therein, the sub things of your life. Are you starting to look at the presidency of Donald Trump and understand that you can end the whisper campaign, that there are people daily coming over to your side, to your thinking? Don't misunderstand me for one second, America, people listening to the Kevin Jackson show, KJRadio.com. Don't misinterpret what I say. You haven't won them over. You can't stop this this uh, I don't know, ocean liner on a dime. But let me tell you something. It's beginning its turn. It's had a year to start correcting its course. And no matter what the left tries to tell you, they try to tell you, oh, it's Barack Obama's economy. It's Barack Obama that did this or that. It's Barack Obama that set the, the tone. They are lying to you. And those lies are being discovered every single day, day in and day out, moment by moment. And the left or in a conniption. They don't know what to do. And let me tell you something, folks. The truth is coming at them from all fronts. I'm glad you're here. 844-551-8255 if you want to call. Carl, I know you're out there, brother. Listen to me when I tell you you're about to get a rude awakening in 2018. Like finding out your favorite bowler is on steroids and you're thinking to yourself, he's a bowler. What's he doing? Ju- taking the juice, baby. What's he doing? You're about to get a rude awakening, but it's a good one. It's one you look forward to. You and many others, and Carl, you're not alone. Many people out there share your belief that nothing is going to happen to the left because it never does. Hillary Clinton's a crook. She's always going to, she's always been a crook. She's always going to be a crook and there's nothing we can do about it. So what she, you know, took billions of dollars from Haiti and other countries around the world in pretense, in the pretense of helping the poor. She didn't help them. She only tried to help herself. We'll be talking about Hillary later. Barack Obama. Spying on Donald Trump. Telling people he's the one that's messing with the election. And knowing that it is a lie. Knowing it's a lie. He's going to be uncovered. All these crooked people in the FBI. We're supposed to depend on our clandestine agencies. Our our our, our, uh, bureau of investigation, if you will. (laughs) Yeah. I could probably do better than that. But you know what I mean? These these law enforcement agencies, we're supposed to depend on them. And we can't depend on them. That's being uncovered by name, by person. And this week, you are going to discover things and just as it drips and drips and drips. And, and here's the beauty of it. We've known this. We may not have known the names. We didn't know it was Rosenstein or McCabe or Strzok. Stroke, struck, whatever they call it. How do you even spell this guy's name? We didn't know it. We didn't know Lisa Page and Stroke were having an affair, sending text messages every four minutes on taxpayer dime. We didn't know any of these things. But now we know. They've come to the light of day. And many, many more things are going to come out. They're going to leak out and it's going to validate you. It's going to make you feel better about who you are. So I ask you again, are you starting to feel better? And by the way, Forget all that. What about your prospects for a job? What about your prospects of of a, a new position within your existing company, a better job, more money? Are you one of the people that got bonuses? I got a friend. He got a bonus. This is a guy, drives a hoopty, goes to work every day, drove me to the airport, in fact, and I mean, that car was just, it was rattling. I just didn't want to leave my car at the airport for three days. Because it would have cost me another 50, 60 bucks. So he says, I'll take you, man. And that car was just, it really made me appreciate my car, which isn't very, you know, that new. But I'm telling you, it's not a rattle thing. That car was going down the freeway and I was going, Lord, just get us, Lord, get us there, Lord, get us there. I'm just telling you, folks, that guy got, he works for American Airlines. He got a thousand dollar bonus. And he says to me, well, Kev, it was $667, 600 something dollars after they took out the taxes for this, that, and the other. So it's kind of funny that most of it went back into, you know, into the government. I said it didn't go back into the government. Some of it did, no doubt. Got to pay your taxes, broski. 
But I said, some of it went into your tax, you know, what you're going to get back on your income taxes, right? Yeah, okay. And But here's the bigger deal, man. Because of Donald Trump, and by the way, he's a big-time Trump supporter, you netted $667 that you didn't have. And oh, by the way, that I know you need. That's what he did. And, and, and let me tell you, many people around the country have gotten this, this extra bonus, anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000, and whatever the net is, and whatever that net is, I guarantee you, People that live at the level of my, that my friend lives, paycheck to paycheck, they know if they got an extra 20 bucks, it's not the $40 that Barack Obama gave them. It's the extra thousand bucks, 500 bucks, 700 bucks, $1,500, whatever it was. And they're feeling it. Candace Owens, a friend of mine, she said she's uh, got a half sister and she says her half sister got a thousand dollar bonus. And Candace says her sister went, this is money from Trump. Holy cow. And it flipped her. It's flipping people around the country. And let me tell you what Donald Trump did in Davos. You want to talk about flipping people? He flipped off the left. (laughs) Both fingers. Boom. Because he went there. I don't know if you saw the speech. Donald Trump went there and he blew these people away. He blew America away. Let me tell you something. All these leftists, they're going to give him a rude awakening when he goes to Davos. People are talking about walking out. They're going to be booing him. You don't boo the biggest economy on the planet and a guy who knows how to run it. That should have told you everything you needed to know about those clowns. They're going to boo Donald Trump. Nothing could have been further from the truth. And when we come back, I'm going to play this. Uh, We'll do it this hour for sure. I don't know if we'll do it next segment, but we'll do it this hour. You got to see. I mean, if you if you haven't seen the speech, see the speech. I watched the speech. I happen to be in um, St. Louis. I had to do an event, two events, in fact, uh, the movie. And we're going to be talking about the movie a little bit more here later. Uh, Bleeding Blue. You can go to bleedingbluemovie.com and you have two ways you can support this film. You can donate through a charitable trust that we have set up for it. Which through my charitable trust, or if you're just going to, you know, give 20, 30 bucks or something like that, you can just donate regular. So the, that should be set up on the website. Go see the website. We'll have, we've got two trailers up, a description of the movie, the IMDb, a lot of other stuff. But I was there for that and a speech for the Education Policy Conference. Back in a bit. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 